Hey guys and welcome back to my Manchester United career mode. Now in the last episode, we got a huge, huge win against Manchester City. 2-1 at home, gave Manchester City their first loss, but we couldn't climb any farther up the table after that. We lost in the Capital One Cup 1-0 to Tottenham, and then in the BPL match away against Crystal Palace. We lost 1-0, dropped us down to 8th place from 6th. Now we're on to the Champions League, uh, second leg of each game, I do believe. We drew 1-1, did get the away goal. We're at the bottom of our table here. Every game is going to count if we want to go and advance into the knockout stages and get to the semifinals like the administration wants us to. So here we go at home against Benefica. De Gea is in goal, of course. Luke Shaw and Varela come in as our fullbacks. Blinn. Jones comes in for Smalling because of fitness issues. Carrick comes in for Schneiderlin. He's been complaining about uh, playing time. He has told the, the team that he wants to be transferred out in the next coming window. Schweinsteiger and Herrera come in in the midfield. Depay stays on the left side. Rooney moves up top to striker. Yanazai comes in on the right wing. Here's Benfica starting lineup with Julio Cesar, the legendary keeper for Brazil, and Gaetan and Jonas are definitely going to be their target men to try and get the goals in against De Gea. We need this win like every single game that I say we need it. But here we go, Benfica at home. Filippo Giacoletti is the referee for this game. Oh my god, we almost gave up. Oh, Schweinsteiger. Jonas! Not by sure. This is not the start we're looking for. Varela. Oh, Yanisai Rooney! Oh, there's the chance. Varela. Michael Cap. Oh, Rooney. Good save by Julio Cesar. Another chance for Rooney. All right, Yanis, I get that in there. Lynn. Schweinsteiger. Whoa, so close. Schweinsteiger. Herrera. All right, Yanis, I. Oh, Carrick. That's a goal. Whoa, my God, Michael Carrick. Michael Carrick, the man that wants to get transferred out, gets a huge goal in our Champions League. Not, can't take it away from him, but Julio Cesar should have had that. Ooh, wow. Unlucky for them. Great for us. 1-0 against Benfica. We need to win. Oh no 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 no! There's the halftime half whistle. The this is probably one of the rare times I can say we are winning at halftime. That's a good performance, isn't it? Thanks to that man who wants to get transferred, by the way, Michael Carrick. Here's the stats: pretty close on possession, 49 for us, 51 for them. We had six shots, three on target. They had five with one on target. Important thing is though, we have the goal. We are up 1-0 at halftime. Can't say, haven't been able to say that too often, I don't think. Rudy! Whoa, my God, I was not expecting that. Wayne Rudy with a great shot. Holy cow. Did not expect that at all. Great passing, though. Schweinsteiger with the setup. Rooney just. Rooney had nothing. He just took that shot. Really. Julio Cesar can't get to it. We are up 2 0 at home in the Champions League against Benfica. Oh, Rooney. Memphis. 
Oh, Julio Cesar decides to be a goalkeeper for that one. Oh, Memphis. It's a real tussle between the two of them. Oh, Memphis gets away. He's got... Oh, character... That. Oh, is he going to get to it? Yanazai. Oh. Doesn't matter about pace in this game as long as... As long as you got a defender there. Ooh, that was close. Too close. There's the full-time whistle. We come away with the win in our Champions League. First win in the Champions League stage for us. There's the stats. Possession, of course, is going to win to the other team. 55 to 45. But look at that. We took 11 shots with 6 on target. That's got to be a season high for us. Benfica with 8 shots, 3 on target. We get the win. Goal from Carrick, who played awesomely at midfield today. Along with Varela, who played awesome. Rooney with uh, another goal. He's been top form. Definitely the player of the team so far of the season. Here's the Champions League group standings huge win for us as you can see it puts us into second place Celtic lost to Moscow with so we uh, jumped over them we are now five points Moscow is leading though with ten points here's our next game in the BPL at home at Old Trafford against West Brom who are in the relegation zone in 19th place on paper this looks like a cakewalk, but obviously it's legendary, so it's going to be a struggle for us, I do believe. And here's our starting lineup. We have Shaw. Darmian comes back in the lineup after his injury. Rojo comes in to partner up with Smalling. Schneiderlin in at defensive midfield. Rooney and Mata at midfield. Depay, Young on the wings, and Martial up top at striker. Let's see... If we can continue from our last game, we need that win if we want to stay in the Champions League race. Here's West Brom starting lineup. Rondon is on the bench along with Olsen, Sissignon. Nobody really stands out that's going to give us trouble, but who knows? Anything can happen. Wow! They're playing tiki taka like Barcelona. Come on, now this is West Brom. Look at this. It's gone like a torpedo into the bottom right-hand corner. What a shot! Some good work by the medical team here. Oh, Memphis has it. Back onto the pitch. Yeah, I think he had the old magic sponge. Oh. Is that a goal? That's offside, though. Back up for offside. Oh. Really good Who was offside? Was it Schneider or was it Young? Looking at it. Ah. Allen on the replay. Well, first time of viewing, I. Bit of first half misery here for Manchester United. Who would have backed them to be trailing? Memphis, what a goal! The substitute, Carrick, who wants to be transferred with the assist, comes in, gives the assist to Memphis, puts it away, 1-1. One, one. Look at that, I didn't, I didn't even react. Our next game is in the Champions League against a team who destroyed us in the first leg, 3-0. They go by the name of Celtic. We are away. 
they had three huge away goals. Try and climb back, see if we can get the win or the the draw, which would keep us, I do believe, in second place to go through to the knockout stages. Here's our starting lineup. Luke Shaw, Rojo, Smalling, and Valencia comes back into the fullback spot. Carrick moves into the defensive midfield position in for Schneiderlin. Rooney in the midfield along with Herrera. Yanazai in for Ashley Young. Depay on the left and Martial up at striker. Let's see if we can right the wrong of the last match and not get shut out 3-0. Oh, Yanazai. Of course the keeper gets it, only half an inch away. Don't worry, just w let him walk in. Oh, Herrera. Herrera. Herrera getting in the... Rooney. Right on the shoulder of the last defender. Oh, Rojo. Lost the ball in a bad area. Shots up. Oh, what a Shots save. The goalkeeper. Because it was a poor ball. It was close. And they've got some free possession and a chance to get numbers forward. Oh, Carrick. Oh, Carrick. Oh, buddy. Oh. I knew that was happening. Well, it looks like you're getting transferred to the locker rooms. Have a nice day. Oh, referee, can we give him a red card? That was gross. Just gonna talk to him? Oh, yeah. Okay. Of course it gets taken away. Good position. They've worked this attack very well. And he's good this position now. There's the halftime half whistle. Not too exciting so, first half except for the carrot getting sent off for a nasty challenge. Wow, there's the stats. 53 to 47 per uh, possession in favor of Celtic. Of course, and we both have three shots, but none of them hit on target. Still a draw. Anybody's ball game right now. We need that win or the draw, but we definitely need that win, I think, because Benfica is beating Moscow right now at halftime. Oh wow, what a freaking goal. Even the goal scorer wasn't sure that that was going in, Alan. He, he was waiting and now he's celebrating. Yeah, his teammate there was unbelievable. Schweinsteiger couldn't. Uh, it's gone in and it's a good goal. Good luck here again. Wow! Wow! This, I, this, I don't understand this game sometimes. Yeah, they've used the full width of the pitch to, to stretch the depleted team, and it's a gloriously composed side foot that, isn't it? Really taking the keeper out of the, the situation. He's got a cross to make that interception. He saw it coming. I swear, the whole oh. second half. The ball's been. The ball's been glued to their feet. Like I wish I was kidding, but I'm not kidding. Schweinsteiger, Johansson. I'm not. I'm not playing Celtic. I'm playing Real Madrid. Look, they're just gonna take it down the line and hold the ball up for ten minutes. For ten minutes, like. Not on the money. We 
I I don't get this game sometimes. Like, it's this is a headline result for the underdogs. There you can see the whole the whole second half. I could not get the ball off of their feet, and every time we get the ball, it just gets gets away from us. We could we play like we're in little league, and there you can see the possession, and we only had one shot on the second half. They had a ton of them, so uh, I, this game just confuses it. There you can see the table uh, after that loss. It's giving me a headache just thinking about it. This is the last two games against Celtic. But we moved down to third place, tied with Benefica. And we have to play Moscow in our last group stage game. We have to win it, and Celtic has to lose to Benfica, or else we're not going through. But before we can get to that Champions League game, we have to play Leicester away in the BPL. Leicester currently sit in 13th place with 3 wins, 6 draws, and 4 losses with 15 points. We're in 7th place with 20 points. We need every single point that we can get from now on. Uh, the transfer window is coming up soon, so I'm thinking in my head what we need and who we need to get, who we need to get rid of, but that'll be later on down the road. So until the next episode, peace.